out here was a garden that we had that our hospital supporters mm -hmm. uh, donated out here. All in this whole outside areas, we had uh, donations for this outpatient uh, um, kind of a recreational facility, and we would have um, cookouts and banquets out here. Those beautiful roses were given by the Carol Garretson family. This is the vent bed unit that it took so much money and so much time and so much effort, and our hospital was one of the very few uh, hospitals in, in the United States, really that had a ventilatory unit this far out into the rural area. We were able to staff it and maintain it, receive support as we've already alluded to through the foundation monetarily for equipment. And this brought in a lot of income for our hospital and helped sustain it. We uh, were able to maintain this and utilize it all these years uh, up until Vidic came aboard. So the, the priority was to get this profitable service out of your hospital. Where they took it, they weren't sure, but they knew they needed to get it out of your hospital. They, uh, well, this was part of their de-escalation, cutting down of services and uh, transferring all services out of this facility. By closing this down, we lost all the income that was coming in, and um, Vidit uh, really made very little effort to balance the books. In other words, when the census was going down and things were changing and closing down the swing bed, the ventilatory unit, etc., cetera, uh, without adjusting in personnel caused a, a deeper hole as far as the financial loss. And they made no adjustments in the staffing of the entire facility for months, knowing that the patient load was not here. And I think that was just, uh, again, another uh, um, a move or a lack of a move to uh, cause an increase in, in deadness to show a more negative cash balance at the end of the year. It's been out about a year and a half now, and it took a while for them to find adequate places to, that would receive this type of patient because every facility is not really uh, capable of, of handling the patients because they require a special room. It's got to be larger. They, the doors have got to be different and all of the uh, 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 monitoring equipment has to be sophisticated and, uh, and of the latest vintage as you well know because the patients were total life support when they came in and you had two in every room and it required a lot of time and money to operate but then the reimbursement was significantly better than you would receive from other beds. And uh, they made no attempt to change the number of employees downward to balance their books and not show such a great loss. Although we're on the water, there's no damage been coming through those doors. This was an allegation that this hospital was in such a low area that it was prone to flooding to the point that we'd had major storms and there was significant damage. That's not true. High water has never been in this hospital. It got up in Storm Irene and lapped at the back uh, doors at the bottom. But as far as any major flooding of this hospital, it has not occurred. Down under the hospital in, in the basement area, there was some flooding, but our pumps were able to keep that under control for the large part because we had our own generators and we would pump it out as fast as it came in. So some of the information that has been spread and put out is just really not accurate. So let's see, we've, this is another wing down here, a beautiful wing. This is where we had most of our rehabilitation beds or what we call swing beds down this hall. And uh, as you see, the place is immaculate. There's really nothing wrong with the uh, maintenance of this uh, new wing. This was one of the newer wings added as well. And so it was highly functional and highly usable. And you even had a secondary type of nurse's station back here if you needed it to take care of this recovery unit. 
How's it going? I'm Brendan King, by the way. I think we spoke on the phone. Right. Often. Okay. <laughs> I'm shaking a little bit. Sorry. Uh, Sounds like running. I have a little adrenaline. He's not that dangerous. He's scared. <laughs>